Okay, I'm done eating my cookies. Yay, let's play video games. <laughs> so yeah, we're not starting at the very beginning because that's it's a very slow process. I've probably put, oh, I don't know, six hours or so into the first 50 years of the campaign. I mean, you play very, very slowly. So uh, we started off as Ryukyu with five whole development. We did basically nothing except for try to make monarch points. Once we had monarch points, we got exploration ideas. We used exploration ideas to explore and expand to Manila. Once we did that, I piggybacked a war on Kutai right here. Right now I'm vassalizing Brunei. Once I have him as a vassal, I return the favor to Kutai, give his land back to Bruni, and I vassalize Kutai as well. Uh, we spawned the Renaissance Institution via sinking monarch points into it, and then I colonized Pontiniac and moved my capital there. I used that to spawn colonialism on the very first try! It was ridiculous! It was the first time! 1501 just, just happened. It's crazy. Anyway, we spawned the Colonialism Institution. Um, and now we are greedily hoarding it and not letting anyone else have it at all. They're not allowed. It is mine, mine, mine. And if you try to steal it from me, Maja Pitt, I will murder your face, which is what we do right here. Yuku, the true emperor of the world. Ready? Ready? Here it is. Murder the face. Oh, right. We're still at war. That's right. We haven't actually murdered the face yet. We murdered the face. The everlasting victory of the Ryukyuan conquest of Kowali. Very nice. It's very good. I fabricated a claim on Satsuma, and so we declared, landed in Satsuma, and then in the course of 20 months, just went, Rrrr! and then Japan was like, <laughs> I don't want to be your rival anymore. So, yeah, Japan, no more problem, no more threat. All right, got to get my bearings straight. What are we doing right now? We are scouting. We are waiting on our transports to get up there, which I think they already did. I have 32 transports. I have... 32 units in the front row. It's time to start going to the new world. The attrition's gonna suck on the drive over. So let's just stick to the interior seas. You guys are gonna march to here. Please don't tell me these little derps migrated into the other colonial region. Good, they're still in colonial California. Good, 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 good. Now I don't actually have enough spy network strength on this guy, but I am going to fire the war. Yes, we're gonna do the war. Say goodbye to our piety. And he rolls a 2-2-2 two, two, two general. Say goodbye, sir. Say goodnight. Hello and welcome to my pip difference. 10 pips versus 6 pips. He actually has a lot of pips for Native American. What we're going to do, we're going to try to use the diplomat bug because I need I need this diplomat to be home soon so I can declare one the other guy. I, I don't want to wait 6 months. We're going to go declare war, conquest, and then we're going to go to Sulu. And then we're going to say, your mother's so fat that she digs oil when she wears high heels. And then we're going to press C again. And we just declared war with a phantom diplomat. <laughs> That's awesome. And so our diplomat comes back from sending his insult to Sulu in seven days. And the return trip time for the war deck on this guy is nothing. Not a factor. The armies go marching one by one. Let's murder everything. How dare he exist next to me. Yes, go there and then come back. We're the defender. That, that's brilliant right there. Boom, dead. 150 men. Say goodbye to the natives. Ryukyuan... Cascad... What? Cascada? Huh? Say what? <laughs> we'll send this whole army down to here and then take like three of them to that province instead. Monthly income at peace right now is only 24. That's much, much lower than it used to be. Why is that? Corruption, that's something I haven't been paying for. Three ducats from there. Flatten it. Why? Whoa, I get to hear- Holy shit! I don't really quite understand why, but now we have access to all of Europe. Probably because we have had the Renaissance, maybe? For 50 years? The Teutons didn't lose to Poland? Holy shit! Can we do a time lapse of the whole world even though we haven't been here? That's nuts! That's so cheaty! I love it! We totally can! Burgundian Inheritance fired super early, like within the first 20 years of the game. Which might explain why France and England have been doing so poorly. They didn't have Burgundy to beat up on. Byzantium expanded. Are you shitting me? No wonder the Ottomans took so long. Oh, what the hell? Serbia killed Ragusa! <laughs> it's such, such, such a stagnant Europe. They barely do anything. They, they're just taking like a province or two here and there. 
Poland eating more of Hungary. There's Muscovy into Russia. So we've, we've got some blobs. We've got Bukhara, Persia, Russia, Ottomans. This will become Commonwealth, but uh, that is not what I would have expected at all. I'm so surprised. I wonder how much of that had to do with the fact that they didn't get colonialism and it just like messed up all their math or something. I was is this Ryukyu and Cascadia. I don't know why it's calling it that, but okay, yeah. We just got done with that. Our army's over here. We've got claims on the Mexican dudes. We're gonna go and just like say hi, hello, welcome. Here's some science for you. Oh, also some bullets. <laughs> you will worship the Sunni gods. <laughs> Actually, just kidding. You can worship whatever you want, but you're gonna pay us some damn taxes, all right? And of course, this should be a bloody, horrid massacre. Yes, yes. Murder. So good. These poor guys, they're just like, who? Who are you? Who are you and why do you have so many guns? <laughs> oh, I'm just, you know, the devil. It's fine. Oh, that's cute. Nice two-star general there. Oh, look at that. He rolled a nine, too. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I take such pleasure in beating up on, on the locals. This is an example of a situation where I don't really know exactly what would happen if I were to full annex the overlord of a new world nation where normally you would expect like protectorates and stuff. So we're going to take a copy of the save and we're going to full annex Tlaxcala. All right, Tlpanic. They're all the same, right? Uh, the answer is that yes, we got their vassals, all of them. They're not protectorates. Their liberty desire is at 100%. Sacrificed our ruler, sacrificed our heir. I've done none of the sort. That was your previous... Dude, you can't even keep your overlord straight, for crying out loud. Huh. Anyway, I don't want this. I don't like this. I just wanted to see what would happen. So that was the previous peace deal. 97 war score. He'll accept right now. Oh, it's so hideous. I love it. All right, fellas. I need I need your support. I need, your, I need you to take a poll. Yeah, 80, 80 to 20 now. Still, 80 to 20, that's pretty damn good. I think we're going to have to go ahead and attack the Englands. I got 20k troops here. We're on equal tech. Hi, Englands. We are the uh, the friendly peoples of Ryukyu. We've come to take your children and your women and your lands and your gold. Thank you. Give it all up. Meanwhile, uh, we're also still looking to do the thing with Japan. I'm getting the impression that England's not even over here. So we're just gonna we're gonna try we're gonna try to carpet siege and just see what happens. Pay, pay close attention to that mini map. Don't let me miss it if he shows up. That's totally your fault if 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 I do. Oh, you can't see the mini map. Crap. Crap. Bad things are about to happen. I see an enemy. Yep, that would be a three stack of the English, and we're locked. This see, this is you. This is all you. It's your fault, guys. Look at that. Can you believe that? Nonsense. We're gonna lose an infantry. This is horse manure. <laughs> chat, I am so disappointed in you right now, chat. I can't believe you're going to let Bob die. This this army is no longer Lehad Datu's first regiment. No, this is the army of Bob. And if it dies, Twitch, then it's all your fault. If Bob dies, I will hold you accountable for all of eternity. Don't you dare let Bob die. Get these guys out. How's Bob doing? Bob's doing okay. He's not dead yet. Reinforcements are coming. They're going to be here in 10 days. Bob, you got to hold for 10 days. Bob. Bob rolled a 5 versus an 11. It's not so good. Bob could retreat. At this point, I feel like we should just give Bob five more days of victory. Five more days of power. Yeah, never give up. Never surrender, Bob. You got this, Bob. Go, go, go. Yeah. Bob has friends. <laughs> 551 Bobs have died. Feel bad for Bob. Bob's pretty good at killing the English. I'll give you that. I mean, he's done a good job. I I'm pleased with Bob. Let's send Bob some help. Bob gets more friends. Bob is strong. St he rolls sevens on his own. Bob never gives up. Bob never surrenders. He chases forever. Okay, so what do we decide on uh, Colonial Australia? What are we going to call them instead? Bob's... Bob's Down Under? Bob's Down Under? <laughs> What about California? What are we going to call California? Uh, okay, first thing that comes to mind for me is uh, Schwarzenegger. Um, I don't know. They have the most the most votes in United States political elections. <laughs> they practically decide the election. Bobby Wood? Weedland. <laughs> Bob's electoral votes. 
I have to. I have to. It's too good. <laughs> what, what's an adjective to describe electoral votes? Rigged. <laughs> It'll be the rigged war. <laughs> oh, that's too good. I love it. Okay, we need to get another colonial nation. This is fun. I like you guys. You guys are fun. You guys are funny people. We're going to force England to give us all of colonial Mexico, which he says yes. I'm going to say go. So yeah, English Mexico is dead and Bob the Wall Builder is alive and good. I totally, totally intentionally did this. It wasn't an accident at all. I uh, intentionally black flagged myself in Castilian Brazil by declaring a war on Kilwa. So we'll march over to our colony, get unblack flagged, murder these little natives, and then we'll march back the other way. And it's gonna be glorious. Here, we're gonna go, we're gonna go check out our, our spreadsheet, because reasons. This is what we do. Because <laughs> I'm a dork. <laughs> and yes, I made a spreadsheet for generals. <laughs> uh bam, we could roll. This could be the very next roll. I'm gonna roll him. I'm gonna roll him off camera. And I'm gonna see if you guys can figure out if he's good or not based on my my face. It's pretty good! It's pretty good! I like it. Yeah, buddy! He's in the 70th percentile. Sweet! That's good. Let's keep him. Here he is. Three, two, two, two. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. He's got two siege pips. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Come on. Just give up everything you own. Give me all your provinces, please. Yes, it fell. See, all you have to do is just beg. Ryukyu in Brazil. No, it's not called Ryukyu in Brazil. It's called what? Bob's Banana Farm, Bob's Burgers, Bob's Left Dong, Bob's Kebab, Bob's Wax Job. Because that's what you get. You get a Brazilian wax, right? Okay, and then we need to we need to modify his adjective. That's a very important part. Smooth just doesn't sound like that'd be moist. <laughs> so here's the here's the idea. I'm looking at it and I'm seeing Castile's got lots of rebels. Okay? So say I declare in Castilian Brazil, even if I lose the war against Castile, they can't beat me because they can't even get to my capital yet. Most of the Westerners haven't even discovered. India, let alone freaking Ryukyu's capital over in the Malacas. Okay, so um, here are some of the things that have happened since the last episode. And I do apologize that I uh, that I played quite so much over the weekend. You guys all thought that we should declare war on France. It turned out to be a very, very long and painful war. It ended up costing me, I think, an extra 500 or maybe a thousand ducats. I had to continuously bribe this bastard because he kept trying to peace out. What I got out of it was pretty damn good. So here's what we got out of it. Number one is uh, we took a ton, a ton of land out of Castile. Bob's wax job is, uh, well, the border gore is really bad, I'll admit. But here's, it, it was a, it was tactical border gore. I pieced out with England. Bob's coffee exists. Um, Bob's hemp farm exists. This was from my war with Portugal. That war was hilarious. I really loved it because I was able, <laughs> I was able to take land that I'd never seen. All of it was in, in Terra Incognita. And so I'm just like clicking through the ward, the, the peace screen, just like, I'll take this one and this one and this one. And I'm looking at the map. No clue. No clue where it is, what it is, the development, the product, the trade good. If it's a colony, if it's not a colony, no clue whatsoever. <laughs> Last thing then, and then we can actually start, start playing. The peace deal with England. I took advantage of the fact that England had no forts in, in, in Ireland. Even though I only had like 20 war score in the New World, I was allowed to take Sligo because there were no forts. So I took Sligo, and amazingly enough, because of adjacency to Desmond, who has amazing freaking ideas, Desmond was all like, Ooh, Ryukyu is a really nice guy. I really wish I could be his subject. And so I improved relations with him, and then I realized he would, he would just become a vassal. He'd just accept, peacefully even. It's the first person we haven't had to murder. I love him. He's awesome. And wait, there's more. As part of my war with Castile, I also... Completely don't understand how this is even possible. I was allowed to take Cuneo. I don't know why. So yeah, we've got a vassal here. But wait, there's more! I also took the Balerys because I want to release Catalonia. Catalonia has cores on all of this. So we're gonna have a vassal here, vassal here, vassal here. And uh, they're gonna be good. Bob's Hemp Farm, you are to be supportive. Attached to me. It, no, come back here. Stay here. Thank you. We're gonna go take care of your rebels, you little idiot. <laughs> I swear, he's the dumbest vassal. Of all of my vassals, he's the dumbest. Truth that England has now expired. God, there's so many people. So many people I need to murder. England, die. So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a single unit, and we're gonna take them into Costa, and we're gonna put them out on the boats. 
what we're going to do is we're going to game the system by utilizing boats to say that's not where we came from. We actually came from the coasts of bleh. As soon as our army lands, which will be on July the 28th tomorrow, this army on the Fort Map mode, we can now see right there is our return province location. Cool. This army, return province, is going to be here in a second. Right there, you can see it. What we're going to do is we're going to take these two armies, we're going to reorganize units. Hey, all you guys, why don't you go join that smaller army who has the better return province location? We came from here. We didn't come from there. We came from here. So this army, because it was here from here, what'd you give it? Eh? Yeah. Zone of control. This is a brilliant in-game mechanic. Good job, Paradox. We can go to here. We can go to the war goal. Here's the next idea. The next idea group is diplomatic ideas. The specific reason for that is that we need more diplomats for fabrication. We need an extra relationship slot for more vassals. This lets us conquer more. And then this lets us break the marches later on. How is you? How is you? I use good. Diplomatic ideas, I think, is an essential ingredient in World Conquest. We're going to call it good now. All right, Kidaz <laughs> fabricated a claim on me. That's funny. I want to tell the Maldives that I hate everyone. Just so you know, I hate everyone in India. I want you to fabricate on them. Okay. Yeah, we're going to declare war on Ming like right now. We're losing tons of money because we're way over our colonial limit at the moment. That's an extra 14 ducats a month right now. We'll make it the province of Nan. And uh, you can just go die, Ming before you stop being a valid rival. Ming has five heavies. I have 214 ships here, though. So good freaking luck. Look at that morale difference. 3.3 versus 5.7. Oh my god, the zero! Are you serious? Game? Come on. <laughs> and then he doubles it up with a nine. <laughs> All right, fine. We're going to take your capital, bastard. England doesn't seem to learn that sending no leaders across with a three, a three landing penalty is, is not working. It's not a good idea. But England's all about it. He's like, yeah, here, have this war score. Take, take all my money. All right, there's the peace deal. Obviously, we piss off everyone. Who gives a crap? Doesn't matter. We're Ryukyu. No one can stop us. So let's say that I attack now. Can we beat Milan? Yeah. We're going to do it. It's still mothballed, yes? Sorry, Pope man. It's nothing personal. Tell me we're going to get there before the end of the month. No oh, shit, he's got troops. Oh, look, a squirrel! <laughs> what? What? It's the first squirrel. Come on, relax. It's fine. It's the first one. It's no big deal. I want to remind you that this is a Ryukyu Three Mountains achievement run. Of course, there are exploits and cheats being used. That's what you do in this type of achievement run. Like, this is an achievement that, as far as we know, Paradox put into the game specifically so that they could have people find ridiculous exploits so they could then fix them. You could break the siege and try to run to Genoa. I think that's probably better. Let's just break the siege and run. Oh, man. Wow. Lucky sieges, man. This alternate reality is fantastic. All right, as soon as I get a diplomat free, I think we declare war on the papacy again. I mean, for the first time. Okay, come on, buddy. I'm expecting you to win. Be win by now. Be done. Be done. Be done. Thank you. It's time to march over. Crush fingers. Crush fingers. Crush fingers. Ooh, Cologne's bugging out. We've engaged how. Rather strangely, uh, with cav on cav, infantry that can't fight. Like, if, I, if it were me, Paradox, I would probably deploy the infantry in the center of the battle. Just saying. Ooh, that's a bad nine. Ouch, painful. We might still end up losing this fight, depending on morale. I'm not sure. It's really close. We have point nineteen, And we get to stack wipe him. Probably. Excellent. We can cross straight, please. We can march on capital, please. Hello, this is nine cannons. Look at that. You see that? I have nine infantry. It put cannons in the front row instead of putting my ninth infantry. What kind of horseshit deployment is this, Paradox? Fix it! Have you gotten any achievements so far? Uh, in this run in particular? No. Meanwhile, Bob's electoral vo vote with uh, his eight stack is just... Just watching him siege his capital. Now he'll go fight it, of course not going to attack him, you know, before he loses control of his capital with insufficient support, conquistador that's a 224. 
that just gets completely wrecked due to morale and tactics disparity coupled with flanking coupled with defensive terrain no he's got to take the two crossing the terrain and the river crossing penalties himself because what he really needs is he needs a challenge so we'll just uh we'll take that piece all right there was our peace deal it's glorious good period of war i think I mean, we had like, what, six, seven wars going all at once. And I've still got truces to prove it.